Welcome back. So the next thing should be actually running the app. So let's have a look again at our guide right here. We've created the app now. It should be up and running. Now we should be able to go into the folder called My App because that was the name of my uh, project right now. So I'll do CD My App. There we go. And from here, I should actually be able to run the command Yannick serve. Again, Yannick for explaining that I'm using the Yannick CLI command line interface and serve for saying I want to serve my app. I'll let this run and let's see what happens. It's trying to do some stuff. And I'll just get this up and running on the Windows machine. And uh, also, there we go. And Yonix, uh, there we go. Whoops, it just started one of the Yonix. <laughs> so there we go. It actually popped up right here, and there we go. I have my Yonix app running. Yes, it's inside Chrome. It's not a real phone app yet. That's because Yonix is building on CSS, HTML, and JavaScript, right? So it is actually building, so we can see this test run inside Chrome. And let's see how we can make it look more like a phone. So if you go into developer tools down here, you can either control shift I or alt command I, I think that's the commands for actually getting there. Or you can go up here and say more tools, developer tools. And there you'll also see actually in Chrome what your shortcut is. So when this is open, there's a small phone tablet thing down here. So t click that guy. And now you'll see the app running in an iPhone. In my case, you can select here, I want to show it in a Galaxy instead. I want to show it inside an iPad. So you can start seeing how it actually looks. Now this is freaking awesome. So now I have the iPhone right here. Uh, let me just refresh this to make sure this is how it looks. This is the start app we just built. And there we go. Here we have the different menu items we could click. List item here. We have some list items we could click. They have more. They have more. Pretty good tutorial. Uh, pretty good startup app, right? There's so much of this I normally use inside a basic um, application, right? So it seems to be running and we just tested it running inside a browser, inside a real a real device, at least in the size of a real device. Let's have a look if this also worked on the Windows machine. So I'm in Chrome again here on the Windows machine. Let me just control shift I, get the menu up here, press the button down here again, and there we go. Now this looks wrong somehow. Let's just try and select the iPhone again, and there we go. Now it looks better. And let's just do a refresh of the page. I always do a refresh because sometimes it needs a refresh to kind of clear any any things that shouldn't be there. So there we go. We have the menu right here. We have a list right here. We can clickety click stuff around. Let's try and do an iPhone 5. Clickety click. There's something here that kind of annoys me, but I think that's because of my browser right here. Um, that won't be there when we make the real phone actually. But again, it seems to be running on this guy as well. This is a Galaxy. That's an Android. This is a Nexus. That's also an Android. And then we have an iPhone, of course, if you want to try on the iOS devices. So everything seems to be running. Yay, we've made our first app and we actually have launched it by using a simple command. So see you in the next lesson where we'll try and have a look at the code by opening it inside WebStorm. Have fun.